Hello, it's time for a 10 ball. I will show you how to run the rack. This video will be a little rushed because I don't have uh, so much time to make it, so I will go through this rack quickly. Whoops. Okay, that was the bell, so let's begin. Okay, so the four ball is here, and I want this angle on the four to come up for the five. So where do we want to be on the three ball? Being here on the three ball is bad because of the scratch in the corner. So I want to be somewhere here on the three ball. Then I can come here with the cue ball. So then I want to roll, roll in the two ball and stop here with the cue ball. So uh, I want to be somewhere here with the cue ball for the two ball right now. So let's draw it back a, a little bit like that. And now we can roll in the cue ball soft. Yeah, like that. And now we can come into the line after making the three ball. Yeah, and now we plant ahead for this angle. Okay, so I will show another uh, beginning. I didn't show the end there because I don't have so much time right now. Time is running out. So now I will show you uh, the beginning of only. The three ball is here. We don't want to be here with the cue ball because then we will hit the nine. We want to be on the other side. Anywhere here is good for the three ball. So that's a big area and the two ball is all the way there. So this is a good place to stop the cue ball in. So where do we want to be on the two ball to come to the three ball? We can be here, yes, but uh, this angle is already, all, already here. The problem is that if we should have a stop spin, it will, and it, the cube will slow down after hitting the rail if you stop spin, stop spin here. So that is tough. So uh, we have ball in hand here. So what I want to do is uh, this is a really tough right now. Yeah, we must come here with the cue ball or anywhere here. This is really tough right now. What will we do? What will we do? There's not much we can do here to come, uh, to come here with the cue ball because it is really tough to make a top spin shot here. So uh, I will, I probably need to come here with the cue ball on, on the wrong side of the tree. But uh, there is another uh, choice here, it is by hitting the six ball here. Then we have the perfect angle on the two ball. So I, I see that's the only choice here that I can make. We will hit the six ball, okay? We hit it soft and not too hard. Perfect, okay? So now we have the correct angle. So that is how you need to plan. Uh, look at all the alternatives to see what is possible. And we found the correct choice here. It was hitting the six ball. Because I didn't want to come up here with the cue ball, even though it was, would have been easier. But look at the nine. The nine was the problem here. So now we don't have any problems. Now we can control the cue ball here like we all originally planned. So that is a good thing. We, we took a tougher shot in the beginning to avoid a tougher shot later. So now all these shots are easy because we took the toughest shot in the beginning. So that was good. So now we will use right spin to come to the other side of the table. Yeah, that is good. That's how we wanted it to go. Yeah, problems are solved. Here, uh, I don't want to make the four in the side because we can get snooker behind the five here. So the four we will make in the corner there. So we have all already have a good, good angle here after we make the three ball. So we go one rail up, all, only one rail. We have a great, great angle on the four. Look at that, perfect. 
And now, how to get to the sixth ball? Yeah, if we make if we make a stop shot, you have this angle. We can go one rail, two rails here for the six. We can go forwards further, make a stop shot here, have this kind of angle on the six. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Is this a good uh, choice to make? One rail, two rails, three rails, four rails for the seven. I think this is a good, uh, this is a tougher shot, uh, but uh, afterwards you get a good position. Uh, here, uh, if I make the five in the co corner there and play two rails position, you can mess up here. Yeah, you can, if you are here maybe, you can get position for the seven later. So anything can happen if you attempt this path with the cue ball. So it is easier to just accept the, uh, the tough, tough shot here because it will avo avoid even tougher shots in the, uh, in the future. It, it, it will avoid a tough shot if you fail to come uh, into good position for the six here. So we will do that. We will. Yeah, we will make, uh, we, we want straight in on the five here. So we roll in the four a little bit. Yeah. And now we make a, make a stop shot. We, we want to be, here is a good place. Okay, that's that line is where we want to be. So we, we use a soft draw. Yeah. So now we made a few simple shots here, and now this is the only tough shot of the rack here. So this, look, look how big area we have here that the cube can stop in. Look at that. So we just need to make the six ball here and uh, avoid hitting the nine. We want to go maybe hit the rail here somewhere, okay? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we hit the rail here, but we, we missed the ball. Focus on making the ball, okay? Very important. Focus on making it. It is a tough shot here, so I'll try it again. Yeah, now we made it, okay? So I avoided the nine and came back up. So we have solved all the problems here. Uh, we will draw back a little bit so we have this angle to come up one rail, two rails for the nine. Okay. Yeah. And here I want the, the cue ball to be almost frozen to the rail here because then we have the angle. Uh, the common mistake is to come too close to the nine and end up straight. That happens often, so you you rather have uh, the cube ball frozen on the rail here. So that is what I will focus on, having the cube ball frozen against that rail. Okay? Yeah. Too soft, but we are okay. If we had shot too hard, we would still be okay. So, yeah. I will make it with a lot of right spin. I want the cue ball to come here, okay, and come back up because this area is very big. If I go only straight, I need to stop in a very small area here. And you can also scratch if you go one rail only, it is easy to scratch. So I will go uh, two rails to slow down the cue ball and come up here. A lot of uh, right spin is needed here, okay. Yeah, like that. And we actually came too short. I want to slow down the cue ball. And it slowed down a lot from the second rail. So I will do it again this time. Yeah, I will do it again. Okay. A lot of right spin. Yeah, that is. Uh, that is better, yes. Yes, we are in a good, good uh, position. 
Now I will show you uh, the bad choice to go one rail instead of using a lot of right spin. So I will show that to, to show you what will happen. So that is what will happen and the cue ball goes too far away, you see that? So that is what we wanted to avoid. So that's why it's so much better to use uh, a lot of right spin to slow down the cue ball here and come there. So now the eight ball now is uh, very difficult. Yeah, maybe 50% chance to win here. So that, that uh, uh, making a easier shot to cut it in resulted in a tougher shot here later. So that's why we used a lot of right spin to slow down the cue ball. It was tougher, but it was guaranteed that we would win. So that's, that's the end of my instructional video. Uh, subscribe, check out my Patreon, link is below. If you support me, I can make more of these instructional videos, a lot more of them, if you support me on Patreon, okay? So, goodbye.